So Daniel, we just got back from the PAX West 2023 show floor media hour, and you got to have some hands-on time with Persona 3 Reload and Persona 5 Tactica. How are you feeling? I got some hands-on intimate time with Persona 3 and 5. Yeah. Uh, Tactica and Reload, and oh my god, I'm, <laughs> I, I can't believe I can say that, because I didn't even know that Reload was going to be here um, before we had even um, jumped on the plane. Right. I didn't either, and, and so we found out that it's here, and what's weird, and, and I'm going to be talking about this all weekend, it's just annoying me, Sonic isn't here, and it's out <laughs> next month, and I, Persona's great, I'm so happy it's here, I love Persona, but Sonic's out next month, where is it? I don't get it. Yeah, Persona fans won, there's this amazing statue of Thanatos out in front, and there's like, uh, Yakuza's here, Sonic yeah. the Amigo is here. No Sonic. Get, no, no Sonic. No Sonic. <laughs> no Sonic. Stake is like, what's a Sarnic? We don't know who that is. Um, but anyway, people are here to hear your thoughts on Persona 3 Reload and 5 Tactica. Uh, but let's let's start with what I think most people are probably really looking forward to hearing about first, which is Persona 3 Reload. Uh, just And of course, we're going to do quick thoughts here. You're actually planning a deep dive video on both when we get back home, yeah? Yeah, I got a... Uh, Sega and Atlas are going to give us their assets so that we'll be able to do a proper look and of the gameplay, the footage that they provide us, and I'll be able to talk a bit more about what we saw uh, there. But I'm going to give a general impressions in, in, uh, review cool. right now, which is uh, still still a lot to say, so I got to try and not gush too much. <laughs> I, well, and it's, it's hard because I'm not, obviously, I, I like Persona, but I'm more of a casual Persona fan. I, I've only played a little bit of the original P3, mm -hmm. but even based on my limited knowledge of the original, I was blown away by the style and how good this game looks. Every menu, of course that's Persona in, in general, but like, still, based on my knowledge of what the original looked like, I was blown away by yeah. the visuals here. Yeah, the demo, uh, there's two different demos, like there's two sections, you can do either Tartarus, uh, exploration of Tartarus, up to a, a few floors, and then the actual first section of the uh, first full moon, which is on the train, up to, up to the first boss fight. And even though they're both 15 minutes long, I still took like a couple of minutes to just take in the menus because mm -hmm. the UI for the menus is so gorgeous. It is, isn't it? It's like uh, when you press it, you like he, the main character Yuki, uh, Makoto Yuki, just splashes in. Yeah. And each one looks so stylish, so so interestingly stylized, and that's what I was expecting because Persona 5 obviously went really crazy, chaotic. That was like the nature of the Phantom Thieves. Right. Going into there, and so the the art style is very loud in that sense. But here it's so smooth; it's almost kind of gentle, honestly. It it's, is. It's very intimate and personal when when you look at it, and um, yeah, it's just that, and also just going into the game itself, like the art style from Persona Five has blended into Persona Three Reload, and you can see how it's kind of similar, but also has its own unique identity as well. And um, certain things from Persona Five gameplay and art style has bled into Persona 3 re Reload as well. And um, you were doing so, you were doing just the demo for the battles in Tartarus, right? Yeah, I just did the Tartarus demo myself. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm a casual Persona guy, so <laughs> I probably wasn't ready for the harder difficulty demo. I had enough trouble with the boss of the Tartarus demo, which really were just two flying shadows <laughs> who were two-shotting Yukari. And oh, I'm no. like, would you guys, like, stop doing... 40 damage uh, you know, with uh, Bufu, and she has like 60 HP max. I'm like, please stop. Um, but but yeah, I played that demo and had a great time with it. Uh, but you played you played both. So what was the other demo like? The other demo was essentially, yeah, it was it's the beginning of when you start at the monorail, the train section. You run up all the way, you go into the train uh, itself. All the cutscenes are there. All, it was fully voiced, so you get to hear all nice. the awesome... The, the new uh, pre, uh, uh, acting of all these characters. Yeah. And I gotta say, uh, Zeno Robinson as Junpei is killing it nice. so much. I love his his interpretation of the character. It's so good. Uh, other, other characters obviously are, are really good. Allegra Clark as Mitsuru is doing it almost a one-to-one. -one. Like, it's still her style mm -hmm. and in her interpretation, but it's it's almost, you can't really tell at some times that it's a different voice actor. You know, I felt the same way, because um, I, I, I know the story of P3, because I edited the Persona 3 art book for Udon, and so while I was doing that, I watched a lot of, you know, P3 videos, do some research about mm -hmm. the stuff in the book, and so I'm familiar with the original voices, and I almost couldn't tell right. with, with, Mitsu, with Mitsuru, and uh, although I could tell with Yukari, but I really love the way she sounded. Yeah, yeah, they're they're all they're all doing very well in, in their positions, and I got to actually hear uh, Alex Lee doing Makoto this time. Who 
he does Luke in, in Street Fighter Six. Oh, I love it. I so didn't realize that. <laughs> I, I, I love to hear the, the different sides of this character so much. But yeah, their, cool. their performances are so good. And you got to hear that throughout the entirety of the, the second half of that demo. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's the part where the, the train starts picking up speed, and then you reach the boss. And then when you fight the boss, there's a timer. Oh. Um, and that's, that timer was there in the previous game as okay. well. But I noticed the timer was way higher than it used to be. I was like, oh wow, they're really making it easier for people, I making guess. Making it easier, okay. Um, and that wasn't the case, actually, because they changed the boss fight a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, there's a, a moment where when the, when the health gets low enough, uh, the shadow of the boss will make the train go faster. And so the timer will dip down very suddenly. Okay. So there's less time. And it'll do it again to the point where there was like, I had five minutes left all of a sudden. So it's really, it's giving you that kind of urgency. So there's little things that they're changing here and there. It's really interesting to see. Did you find did you find at all that the difficulty in general has been lowered from the original, or is it just that one particular example? It's it's kind of the same because now I have okay. to, I have different things to think about. Um, in Persona 3, in the original, they didn't have the light and dark spells, and I discovered that there is actually like the Akoha, I think that's what they call it. the the light spell is now in this game as well. Oh, interesting. Okay. So now you have to consider your enemies weakness and resistances with that at uh, this time. Oh, cool. So there's another added layer, essentially. And I was also really happy to see that the Baton Pass is also in this game. I noticed that. They call it Shift. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't do the high fight, but you do a little glance. I love the little animation they do yeah. when, you, when you, do the, you give them a little side eye, and then they're like, you're up. Yeah. And uh, then they take their turn. It's essentially the exact same thing as Baton Pass, and I'm really glad that they did right. that here. Right. Yeah, because I, I messed around with that during my demo, and I was like, oh, this kind of runs in Baton Pass. So I'm glad you you confirmed that, because like, I think I knew what that was, and it turns out that that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, I, I have been shipping away at Persona 5 Royal thanks to two of our patrons, Cutie Caitlin and Wataniac. We've been doing uh, private sessions, patron sessions. And what I've noticed is that P5R is pretty easy compared to what I've heard about general Persona difficulty. Mm -hmm. And P and with P3 Reload, I was like, the regular mobs were pretty easy. But that, that boss fight, I was like, okay, I actually might <laughs> might lose here if I'm not really paying attention, which I haven't even come close to getting a game over in P5R. Anywhere okay. close. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely more, uh, it's a little bit easier in Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, even more so. Okay, yeah. And um, Persona 3 specifically, like, I think it's because your options were much more limited at the beginning of that game. But mm -hmm. it seems like now there's a bit more with, like, shifting and uh, different weaknesses and the abilities that you can use mm -hmm. in the original. And I think that might make things a bit easier. Obviously, now you can control all your party members. Right. Uh, anyone that's played Persona 3 and right. Persona 3 Fest. You did not have that option back in the day, only yeah. if you played portable. So that's another layer that makes it a bit easier as well. Um, but I think in the starting out, it is a bit harder because you have limited options mm -hmm. for Persona 3 in particular. But uh, hopefully later on, as you can do more fusions and such, because you had just set Personas to use for these demos, Right. Uh, you'll be able to make that a bit easier on yourself as you strategize. Nice, nice. So. Uh, one thing I do have to point out, because I'm the video game music guy, everybody knows, I, I already love Mass Destruction as a oh, song. God. But the re the re or the remix remaster whatever you want to call it the new version of Mass Destruction it's hot it's oh, man. so good Lotus Juice bringing it back again yeah <laughs> all the way back for this again and the, the new singer for uh, for the female vocals is also doing a really cool job as well mm -hmm. uh, I love how she's doing her interpretation because you have obviously a Mass Destruction you got the baby 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 in the background right <laughs> well and, and what what really clued me off is to how different it, it sounds but still you know it's still the song that you know and love but like I'm used to the original where she's like baby baby but in this one she's like baby baby like mm -hmm. she she enunciates that baby it. yeah and I'm like oh this is cool I like it. And, uh, you know, I, of course, it's a very uh, jazzy song anyway, and that kind of leads me back to what you were saying earlier about the interface. And I so agree, because you were like, Persona 5 is more like chaotic, where this is smoother. And I was thinking like, yeah, Persona 5's interface, it's obviously really stylized, but it's more like interpretive jazz, like chaotic jazz, yeah. whereas this is like smooth jazz. This, this is, is like, very, this s like, yeah, like soothing. It's got more hip-hop to it. That, right. That's the vibe for it, for right. this game. And yeah, you, there's a lot of music that's been kind of subtly remixed. Of course, the first block of Tartarus, it's very much not very exciting because it builds up as you get higher and higher. Right. So there wasn't too much I can comment on that, the differences in that song because it's very subtle mm -hmm. so far. But I could tell little differences. And so when you get higher and higher, and Tartarus itself, it's actually a bit interesting now. 
like not just your perspective, but that there's different uh, differences in elevation in the room design and in the layout. Uh, there's little things you can shatter for for um, little. I guess you're getting pieces you can sell. Right. Or okay. Maybe, yeah, the little shadows, like the the shadow pieces that you can shatter yeah. like, in the field. Yeah. Yeah. There's that. There's actual treasure chests. I thought that, I thought that's what it was, but I guess you're just collecting things to use for. Um, Maybe even like fusion of our sort of, of course. things. So yeah. we'll see in the future. Yeah. Well, as as we said earlier, you're going to be doing a deep dive video after we're back home. But uh, so let's let's wrap things up there for now for P3 Reload. But Persona 5 Tactica, you also got to play that. I did. Now I didn't play that, so I'm going to let you take the lead here. Uh, how are you feeling about this? So we pretty much were dumped right into a battle for Persona 5 Tactica. Okay. And um, it's with you, with Joker, Morgana, and the new character Arena. Um, okay. So it's three, three characters. They pretty much show you how the mechanics work. Uh, quickly, uh, if you play Mario and Rabbids, th there, there you go. That's the gameplay style. It's, it's the, uh, the turn base kind of like you're positioning yourself on the field. You're taking cover. You're shooting. Mm -hmm. You're firing from far away, or using your personas from far away to attack the enemies that are also under cover. And it's in it's interesting how they apply the persona logic into this as well. Because um, if you're Joker using your dark spells, if you're using Aha. Uh, it's like an AOE, so you can get characters around you. Okay. But if you're using Morgana with Windspill Garu, you can blow them out of their cover and knock them oh, out of cool. the way. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's different elements that they're applying here. And um, there's also their version of an all-out attack as well. So if you, oh, okay, if, cool. if, if you down an enemy, um, and you for, if you triangulate your position around the downed enemy, everyone inside that circle will get damaged from an all-out attack, essentially. Oh, that's cool. So Okay. Kind yeah. of like an AOE attack. Yeah, that's nice. so that's how they're applying that kind of logic here. And that, that was really cool to see. And yeah, yeah, you use either your gun or your persona, as far as what I see so far. Mm -hmm. um, certain characters have different abilities, apparently, because Arena can hide behind cover. And she can actually, if, if you're charged, like if you, if you spend your turn not doing any actions, you'll, you'll accumulate a charge. Mm -hmm. And then on that turn, as far as what I saw on that turn, she can actually shoot people that are still in cover. So they all have your kind of unique abilities, it seems like, in this one. Nice, so. okay. Uh, well, is there another, uh, like, strategy, ta like, t tactical RPG that, that you can kind of relate this to if you, that you've played before that kind of feels similar to, or is it very much its own thing that you haven't really experienced before in another strategy RPG? Um, gosh, there was a lot of, like, uh, there is a lot of the most recent Mario and Rabbids for, uh, DNA oh, okay. in that. Like, it really does feel like, like that in some, as far as what I've played so far. So you got like your XCOM, your that that style of gameplay, which reminds me very much of that. But it's still pretty much its own thing. It's taking its own identity, as Persona tends to do, because um, you have different options, obviously, from what you normally would have. It was very simple as far as what I played so far. I cleared the first map, and then I started the second one, which kind of showed me just a little bit more of what you can do. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more of those elements that are in there that I wasn't able to see so far, mm -hmm. but what I saw was really good. What I heard was really good, too. I was going to ask, how's the remix music sounding? Me and I was I was standing next to the Nintendo fangirl with, with Sam. We were both nice. there, and we were both just kind of bopping our heads the whole time <laughs> because the music was so good. Uh, Lynn does a fantastic job, as always, with these soundtracks. Uh, the vocals were so good, and um, yeah, the voiceovers are back. Uh, Cassandra Lee is still doing... Uh, Morgana. All the same actors. Yeah, cool. Arena. I'm not sure who Arena is voiced by, but they're doing a great job with that as well. And obviously, I'm pretty sure Xander Mopus is Joker. Oh, they're all, they're all, they're all coming. I, I can't imagine. That cast loves their roles. I can't imagine they wouldn't come back for all these. Yeah, why wouldn't they, yeah. right? It's, yeah, exactly. What, ro roles of a lifetime. Um, how fun would that be to do? Yeah. Yeah, seriously. But, well, but yeah, that, I, I, unfortunately, there was only one part of the demo for that. So that was the only part. Uh, right. Persona 3 had the two, the, the two different sections, but that's pretty much all I was able to play of that so far. Uh, they were each like 15 minute demos. Okay. And yeah, what I'm seeing so far of Tactica is really good to me. As someone who likes their, their strategy games, their Fire Emblems and turn based mm -hmm. uh, gameplay, it was really good so far. Very stylish, very awesome to see what they're doing with that. And I'm excited to see more. Nice. Well, yeah, well, you'll see more soon. It's coming out. I think both are coming out early next year. Is that right? I know P3R yeah. is early next year. Is uh, P5 Tactic, uh, is that also early next Tactic year? Tactic comes out in November, I believe. Oh, that's this year. It's okay, this year. That's, yeah. that's later this year, and then P3 Reload's early next year. Yeah, I'm suffering with Reload coming out like the day after <laughs> Grand Blue, Free Link. I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> I, I wish I wish developers would talk to each other more and, like, space out the releases. I know that obviously that's not how the industry works, but I'm like, could you please spare us? The, yeah, you, know? <laughs> yeah you, you don't need to release Spider-Man 2 with 
with Mario Wonder with Sonic Superstars. Oh God, it's already it's, happening. It's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And you know what you said? There was only the one demo of P5 Tactica, which you know that's unfortunate, but it's better than the zero demos of Sonic <laughs> Superstars here. I'm sorry. I know. We, I know. We, we but stole the show this year. You did. You did. But you know what? Fan of Persona do. fans deserve it, and that's that. No, that that works for me. Uh, anything else you want to mention before we wrap up? Um, these games are looking really good. Cool. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to just getting a bit more hands-on with the, my ideas when we get out a video, mostly on Persona 3 Reload. I think there's not, there's only so much I can say about Tactica right now. That's sure. also because there's, there's a lot more information already out that people already know about it. But um, Reload is definitely something that I think people will be excited to get their hands on if they ever if they release the demo. I hope they do. That'd be really awesome if they could. But um, very excited to talk more about that, and it's it's looking great. It's going to be a great game, honestly. Even without, the, I'm still going to say the female protagonist. She's not there, and I'm mm, sad about it. I, I know. I kind of side eye the the, the the one there. Like, <laughs> so there's there's gonna there's not going to be the female protagonist at all. And they're like, sorry. Do you <laughs> we think can't they'll say anything? Do you think they'll add her as DLC later on? I think that they'll at least add the answer as okay. DLC because that's actually an epilogue. You can't do that without right. doing the main game because you'll immediately get spoiled in the first minute of the right. answer. I, I, I can imagine them releasing that down the line. Um, you know what they'll do? They'll release another version of Persona 3 to, to sell the female protagonist. Of course they will. As they, as they do with all these. And that, yeah. that's the worst case scenario. But, or, or well, I'll, I'll take what I can get. I'm a tool. So I'll, I'll play with <laughs> Kotone's route, whatever it takes. Hey, but, you know what? I get it. I spent 100 bucks on the Super Mega Ultra Deluxe Edition of Theater Rhythm uh, <laughs> every Final song. Bar Line. So I get it. I'm, I'm a tool for, for my own things as well. I totally get it. <laughs> Uh, well, cool. I think that wraps it up for us here then. Uh, look forward to plenty more PAX coverage. Daniel and I are going to be here for the whole show. We're going to get a lot of cool indie impressions, and we're going to get to go to Nintendo Live earlier today. So look forward yeah. to some impressions about Nintendo Live later. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see you soon. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash gvgaming. But even if you can't do that, if you just smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, every little bit truly helps. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Till we meet again. <laughs>